Hey guys and um, welcome to episode 8 of Quest for the Best and uh, we start this episode off by doing some maintenance to the club. You could see that I had quite a few people out of contract. I think it were about 6 contracts I needed. Not quite sure but uh, you know I was actually trying to buy this contract uh, during the weekend I believe. And the price of contract were actually ridiculously high. I think I had to pay like 350 coins by now you know to get actually... Um, you know, uh, have some time to pick them up before they expire uh, without you even having the chance uh, of clicking on it, if you, if you guys uh, know what I mean. But uh, yeah, I was of course trying to pick them up cheaper than that, so it actually took me a while to f to pick up six of those contractors. I uh, kept getting outbid on them, and as you can see here, we need two more at the moment. One for Martinez and one for Varela, and we just decided to pick them up by now, I believe. Uh, you know, I uh, decided to speed it up quite a bit as well because otherwise it would really take long and I don't think you guys would be interested in watching that so uh, you know when we finally had on the contract we decided to search for an opponent which also took us a while because as you can see here um, this opponent uh, apparently he didn't want to play he didn't press X so I backed out again search for another opponent and then I found no opponent did it again and got the same result and then the fifth time we finally got a game against this guy we had a really good 4-4-1 four, four, one, once I can see as Benzema, Alonso, Pepe all them players at Guerrero up front as well I believe so I was in for a really tough game but uh, we managed to take the lead through Ben Affair, you know a good Rabona fake and a good scoop to, to get the ball cleared uh, for his left foot and he rocketed past Casillas to make it 1-0 no, there was Ben Affair on the ball again giving it to Martinez nice little scoop to, he takes a shot from the edge of the box and Casillas cannot save that so that means we are now 2-0 up then he made a crucial mistake give the ball straight to uh, Benafa who did pretty much the same what he did uh, with the first goal but this time instead of doing a scoop in he did a cheeky Ronaldo job got uh, a third goal and that means that we are now 3-0 in the lead decided to watch a replay of it because it was a pretty nice goal but after that get, uh, goal my opponent decided to rage quit so although he had a much better squad than me well uh, you know prize wise um, he decided to rage quit because he had, had apparently had enough. So, uh, you know, we got a third win in Division 2, I believe. So we are now uh, on nine points. Uh, went for, uh, searched uh, for another game. Came up against Fat Man FC. Uh, you know, quite a good name there. 4 1 2 1 2. Pretty pacey Serie A uh, side with uh, Mikkeli, Di Natale, Jovinko, Lamella, and uh, Morales as his, um, you know, up top uh, players. This uh, We got the lead in the 14th minute. Headed through Varela at the far post. Good goal there. But my uh, opponent brought it back here as Lamella sends uh, Mikkeli away. Who. Um, you know, slots it under uh, Marchetti and he made it 1-1. Uh, but uh, my opponent was not done there yet, unfortunately, because as you can see here, um, I make a mistake, give the ball away here, but uh, Varela, opponent picks it up, and um, Morales gives the ball to Mikkeli. Pretty defensive mistake from both uh, Barzakli and Akbana, you know, couldn't put a tackle in. Cheeky little chip from Mikkeli, and he made it 2-1. So uh, that was all still in the first half. Then uh, Di Natale made things worse as he chopped inside. Uh, you know, I don't know why I defended. I saw it coming, but couldn't defend it with Barzakli. And... Um, I made it 3-1 and nothing else really happened in that game. So that means that unfortunately we had to take a loss. He did get a red card. Uh, but, you know, I couldn't take any profit out of that. So we had to take a loss, unfortunately, which is the second loss of the series. Well, our record is, has now three losses, but that was because of that EA glitch. Uh, in the third episode, I believe. So uh, we still hold a pretty good record. But um, because of that game, I wasn't feeling really confident with the defense of this squad. So I decided to change it up. You know, I wasn't... Um Unpleased about the formation or anything, so I decided to stick with 4 3 2 1 for the next squad. But uh, you know, I decided to list most of the players up uh, except for Banafa and Kabai. You can see that on the Marquisio and on the Borzaki, we made quite a nice profit actually because we picked them up during the market crash and we saw them on afterwards when the price has, has uh, risen again. So that means that uh, we were in for some profit and Marquisio and Borzaki sold pretty quickly. And as you can see, we're now going to pick up some new players for the squad. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think I recorded all of them, so uh, I might have had.
have missed some players out uh, with buying them and also with selling them because as you can see some players in the trade pile sold a while you know a few seconds ago you could see that but uh, the remaining four players also sold for the price I list them for so everything sold pretty quickly you can see we pick up the final players uh, on an open bid I, I sure I must have have left some out but I think I did a pretty good job in recording most of it you will see who uh, are in the squad in the squad builder portion which um, you know will be up within a second now as you can see here we uh, are going to stick with White and Feller on goal now right back the Bushi center backs we've got Boateng and Santana uh, who I prefer over Bozakli and Akbana to be honest because uh, that's why I switched up the squad left back Gibbs uh, center mid we've got Gundogan and Wilshire left forward Elia and then striker Arnautovic and of course we were gonna stick with both Kabai and uh, Benaf on the right hand side um, and with this squad, we are going to jump straight into a game, uh, I believe. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. We go into the uh, Division 2 match uh, again now. Search for an opponent, and this could be the uh, final to last match. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure how to put it, but I think if we win this game, we need one more uh, win for the title. We came up against Extreme Team, who took a while to ready up. Unfortunately, you know, I had to wait a few seconds there. But he had a pretty good 4-3-1-2 hybrid. I think all of his players were on 9 cam, except for Lampard, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe Podolski as well. I don't know if it was converted to a striker. Anyway, uh, we took the... Uh, we took... We got a penalty here as Elia took a shot and my opponent wanted to block it, but he actually, uh, you know, slide tackle Arnautovic in the box. Got a penalty for that. Kabai steps up, put it down the middle and up. You know, no one's going to save that the first penalty of the game. Um, then Kabai puts a corner in. Uh, the ball gets headed away, falls to Arnautovic, takes a shot, gets blocked, takes another shot, and that goes in for the second goal of the game. So we're now 2-0 up, and then Elia was on the ball again. I lost it, uh, got it back with Gundogan though, uh, you know, got past the final player pretty easy and uh, I wanted to take out the keeper, but he took me out instead. Banafa still finished the rebound, but the ref already had given a penalty, so that means that we got the second penalty of the game. Kabai steps up again and I didn't decide to go up and down the middle this time, I actually went to the left, which was a pretty good decision it turned out, because we didn't did score that and made it 3-0. Then my opponent made another crucial mistake, passed it straight to Benafa from the free kick, did a little name off flick to get past his last defender, and uh, you know, Benafa's clean throw and goal, and he's not going to miss that. So that was the fourth goal of the game, and it was also the final goal of the game, because as you will see, uh, when the replays have died out and the celebrations have been... Um, Celebrated, I guess. Um, my opponent decided to uh, to rage quit. Uh, so that means that we got our uh, fifth win in Division 2, if I'm not mistaken. So that brings us to 15 points. and uh, No, it actually brings us to 12 points. Sorry for that. That means we need two more games to... Uh, you know, win this division, and we'll try and do that in the next episode. This has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, that would be a, uh, a like rating would really be appreciated. I hope we can push for 25 likes on this video because we seem to manage uh, to hit 20 like mark pretty easily. So I hope you, we can continue that support. Be, s be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in my next episode. So peace.